is that fire alarm Sam is always cool and calm If you're stuck, give him a shout He'll be there to help you out So move aside, make way For Fireman Sam, cause he's gonna save the day Fireman Sam, cause he's playing to the core Sam, Saturn is a splendid piece of equipment. It certainly is, sir. You found me in record time. It will always find you, Sam, because it senses the heat from your body. Then you show up on this screen here as red, whilst everything else which is colder than you is green. See? <laughs> um, but, sir, what if I was really cold? Would I still be red? Yes, Cridlington, you would. Your body will always have more heat in it than, say, uh, cable. Ooh, will it? Is it our turn now, sir? Well, um, I, I suppose. Cridlington, you go and hide, and Penny, you take Saturn to try and find him. Yes, bet you can't find me. <laughs> One, two, three. And the best photograph of Ponty Pandy in the snow will be on the front page of the next edition of the Ponty Pandy Post. Ooh, the front page. I've got a totally brilliant idea. James, you know you got that camera for your birthday? Yes. Well, can we go out and take really cool pictures of the snow with it and win the competition? Now? I'm reading my polar bear book. But we might see a polar bear with all this snow around. I don't think there are any polar bears in Ponty Pandy, Sarah. My book says they all live in the Arctic. Oh, but James, it'll be a really fun way of trying out your new camera. And our best photo could be on the front page of the Ponty Pandy post. Well, OK. Maybe we can just go out and take a few photos. Brilliant, James. Let's go. Make sure you're home in time for tea. Don't worry, Mum. We will be. 49.50. Turning Saturn on, Elvis. Oh, what a beauty. That's it, Penny. Slowly does it. Got him. <laughs> well done, Saturn. And well done, Penny. Oh, oh yes, of course. Uh, that's what I meant. <laughs> Come on. Let's go and tell Elvis that we found him. Found you, Elvis. You're under the desk. That was quick. Oh, I made it too easy. <laughs> yes, right. My turn again. I was just wondering, sir, if uh, I might have a go at all. Oh, 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 yes, of course, Sam. Uh, I suppose. All right, Elvis. Off you go. I'm going to find a really good place to hide this time, Sam. <laughs> I hope we find something more exciting to take photos of up here. There was nothing interesting in Ponty Pandy. I don't think we should go too far. It looks like it's going to snow again. Don't be a baby, James. It'll be... Wow! Look at these footprints! They're probably nippers or something. But they're huge! They're way too big for a dog. I bet they belong to a polar bear. Come on, James! I don't think so, Sarah. My book says... Oh, Sarah! Wait! There! Found you, Elvis! We can see you in the training tower about halfway up. Oh, not already. Oh, snow in again. Oh, I think we should go back now, Sarah. I'm freezing. It, it can't be too far away now. L let's just look a bit f further. Oh, come on, Sarah. It's starting to snow. I want to go home. But, but I really want to get my photo of the polar bear. I, I want to win the c c competition. There won't be a polar bear, Sarah. And I don't want to get lost. Wait, look. Why don't we shelter in this cave until the 
the snow stops. Then we can head home. OK, Sarah. But only because the snow's making me really cold. <sighs> Hello, love. Where are Sarah and James? They're still out with the camera. I'm getting a bit worried. This is all your fault. I'm freezing. But uh, I want to get a photo of a polar bear. Oh, I keep telling you, Sarah, there aren't any polar bears in Ponty Pandy. Huh? Um, James, I, I think the polar bear's coming into the cave. But... What? It can't be! It is! Oh, I think you're right, Sarah! Hello there, you two! What the grizzlies are you doing up here? Moose! We thought you were a polar bear! <laughs> a polar bear? Why would you think I was a polar bear? We were following some big footprints in the snow and... Sarah, look! Moose! It was your tracks we were following all along! I told you there weren't any polar bears in Ponty Pandy! <laughs> <laughs> I know. Back in Canada, we always say, first rule of snow survival, loud noises cause avalanches. No problem. I'm sure I got a torch. Oh, no. I was charging the battery and I forgot to pick it up again. I've got an idea. Excellent survival skills, James. I'm really worried now, Charlie. I think the twins might have got lost in the snow. Right. Let's call Fireman Sam. Oh, what a marvellous conception. <laughs> oh, an emergency. James and Sarah are missing in the snow. James and Sarah are missing in the snow. This is just the job for Saturn. Sam, you take Mercury. Penny and Elvis, you go in Venus with Saturn. Keep in radio contact. <laughs> Any sign, Elvis? Not yet, Sam. Uh, wait, what's that? That could be them, but there's three of them. Sam, I think I got them. There's a cave in the woods 100 metres east from where you are. Right you are, Elvis. James, Sarah. We're in here, Uncle Sam. Don't worry, I'll have you out in no time. you find us? Cool. Is it a UFO? No. It's a special camera that uses heat to find people. Wow! Penny, Elvis, Saturn's found them. Everyone's safe and sound. Whoa. Are you OK, Uncle Sam? <laughs> I'm fine. You look just like a polar bear. <laughs> Sam, but you won the competition for us. You always save the day, even when you fall in the snow. <laughs> Move aside, make way for Fireman Sam, cause he's gonna save the day. Sam cuts his way to the core Sam is the hero next door 